Lim's golden boy's in, nothing we can do about that. So that leaves three openings. The thought of working with Will Hooper for the next two years. If Dr. Lim thinks he'll be a good resident, I'm sure she has good reasons. She probably thinks arrogance is helpful to a surgeon. Well, we could try to change her mind. Uh, she asked us to evaluate the applicants, not her. She asked us to be totally honest. Yeah, totally honest is a relative term when you're telling your boss she's totally wrong. So, who present? Who else? Dr. Andrews likes Dr. Jordan Allen. Oh, I do, too. She's confident, driven. She won't take a lot of hand-holding, and keeping Andrews happy keeps us happy. Mm. At least two more. Who's next? Asher Walk is very upfront about who he is. I like that. He's definitely eager, and he couldn't be more open to learning. I agree. That leaves one more. John, John Lundberg. Lundberg. Smart, professional, mature. He's a no-brainer. Lundberg's in. Lundberg's out. He stopped by my office before he left, said he's no longer interested. He said you all were unprofessional, drinking at work, asking inappropriate questions, dating drama. Mm -hmm. So who's your alt, Olivia Jackson or board shorts? Olivia knows her stuff, but she's a bit insecure. Her answers sound like questions. I like board shorts. He's sensitive, like a woman. I vote for both of them. That's not an option. We don't have the budget. Hooper is the worst. The person I said was the best? He is arrogant and obnoxious. If he works here, we'll hate him. The work will suffer, and we'll either kill patients or we'll kill him. And there is no way that you don't see that, which makes me think... You do. This was a test. You just wanted to see if we'd be totally honest. Well done. <laughs> Hooper is definitely the worst. I only let him shadow as a favor to a board member. I figured I'd give him a second chance after his obnoxious interview. And also, do a little experiment. <laughs> so, it's Jordan, Asher, Olivia, and Enrique. To the next phase of your surgical training. You helped pick them as senior residents. It's now your job to help train them. And don't take this responsibility lightly because if you don't train them well, people will die. 